on my channel. In this video, we're gonna solve multiplication of two polynomials Java that's in gigs per gigs and it holds two points. Now, let's go through a complete question. We are given two polynomials represented by two arrays that contains the coefficients of polynomials. Returns the polynomial in the form of array formed after multiplication of given polynomials. Let's see the example for clear understanding. The inputs are m equals to 4 and n equals to 3. Uh, array 1 have holding the array 1, 0, 3, 2 and array 2. m is the size of array 1 and n is the size of array 2. The output should be multiplication of these. And it is like we have to assume this as polynomial. It is a polynomial and this as another polynomial and we have to multiply these polynomials and give the product polynomial as an output array here we can see that and here we are having this another example m equals to 5 size of this and n equals to 4 size of this and the output we have to assume this as one polynomial and this as another polynomial and we have to multiply these two polynomials and this this should be the output polynomial here your task you don't need to read the input or print anything. Your task is to complete the fun function polymultiple, which is which takes the array, array 1 and array 2, and their size m and n, and as input parameters, and returns the polynomial in the form of array formed after multiplication of given polynomials. And we have a given time complexity as m into n, so we can do, uh, we can have two for loops of m and n. We can use two loops. No. Uh, if you don't know how to uh, how to multiply polynomials, uh, I, I will explain here it clearly. If you know that, skip it for a minute. Let's consider the example. Let's take this array 1 uh, holding 1, 0, 3, 2 and array 2, 2, 0, 4. Now let's convert this into polynomials. The con conversion would be like 1. The first place is it is a singular and next 0 will be x power 1 and next 3 x power 2 and 2 will be x power 3. Here is also the same process 2 singular 2 and 0 will be like x power 1 and 4 with x power 2. Now we have to multiply these polynomials in a way that get the product of these two polynomials we have to multiply every individual value of this polynomial with every individual values of these polynomials let's start with this 2 into 1 2 let's separate 2 into 0 0 x power 1 for making it simple I am using an, another easy method 2, uh, 2 into 3 power x square 2 3 is 6 so 6 x square 2 into 2 power x square x cube so it becomes 4 x cube now consider this 0 with x power 1 so 0 with x power 1 is into 1 is 0 here as it is having 0, we can solve everything into 0. So it becomes as uh, it, it is having x power 1. So here from here we have to start. It. So 0 to x power 1, comma. Here 0 power x square because 1 plus 1 is 2. So it becomes x square. Next, 3, 0x cube. Next, 0x power 4. And now, let's, that is 4x square. 4x square into 1. It becomes 4x square. So, here it is, this 4x square. Here, we have to sum everything. So, now, 4x square into 0x power 1. So, it becomes square plus 1 3 so 0 x cube 
next four trigger to win plus x power four next one eight eight x power five so we have to sum so that we will get the product here let's see that two the here it is two here is zero 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 x power one here ten x cube next four x cube here twelve x power four eight x power five so this is the way we have to uh, we will get the product of two polynomials now let's see how to code this let's first create an array which this should store the product of the poly two polynomials given so new so what should be the size of this array is the question so when we see this here we are having the size is 4 and second polynomial we are having 3 4 plus 3 7 but uh, when we see the output array it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we are getting 6 here we are having 4 plus 3 but output 1 is 6 so it is 7 minus 1 so here the it should be like m plus n minus 1 this this will be the size of the array so here now what should we do as we are going through each and every uh, value in the array in two arrays so we have to loop two arrays so in i which iterates through the first array array 1 i less than m next i plus plus now here we have to iterate, iterate to also the second array so another loop for int i j equals to 0 j less than n j plus plus now here comes the one where uh, what we have to multiple and where we have to store so let's see this with a clear example here we are multiplying every value from these two with every value of this so uh, uh, here it be like array of array 1 of i multiplied with array 2 of j but where we have to store this when we do sum of 2 into 1 we have to store the product of 2 into 1 is 2 in the location where this i plus j locates it means 2 into 1 equals to 2 and 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals to 0 so the 2 into 1 stores in here and next 2 multiplied with 0 0 the output is 0 but the sum is 0 plus 1 1 so here comes the 2 and next 2, two 3 is a 6 6 0 plus 2 2 
6 will be stored here and next coming to here 2 into 2 4 and 0 plus 3 0 so 4 comes here so in this way we are storing it now let's array of i plus j we are just doing this as is it's a easy step and what should we do in the next step next iteration for this if we are having 0 ne uh, the array will be formed as 2 2 6 4 and these two are empty and now it's a 0 here 0 into 1 0 the index value is 1 plus 0 so it becomes 1 and here in at index 1 we are storing 0 now we have to add this with the previous value at that location for that we have to do the a r of i plus j now we are gonna sum this with this what if we don't have any value at this location in that case as we are declaring it as int it automatically initializes 0 in that place so there will be no problem there will be no garbage value there will be 0 if we don't initialize with anything after completing all iterations the array this array will be filled with the product of arrays now we have to return this array so return array that's it now let's compile it we have got the output let's cross check this with this given 2 2 0 10 4 12 8 yes we have got that now let's submit it yes the the code we have written is correct and it is executed within 0 0.32 seconds in this in this way we have solved this if you have any further doubts or questions to be asked comment in the comment section and now let's move to the next week question the question is friend back transformation copy it has zero points but still i felt like it's an interesting question so i have given this given a string as consisting only of english alphabets replace all all the alphabets with the alphabets occurring at the same position when counted in reverse order of alphabet alphabets for example a would be replaced by z and b by y c by x and so on any capital letters would be replaced with capital letters only if we see an example here an input string is hello and the output is s v o l here uh, it means that h is the eighth letter from the beginning of alpha alphabets which is replaced by s which comes at the eighth position in reverse order of alphabets similarly all other letters are replaced by their respective upper and lower case letters accordingly here is an example gfg is given t u t here if you see that g is capital and t is capital letter in this way you have to code this and its time complexity is big o of n means you can use a single uh, loop to iterate through the string try to code for this question and solve it put, the, put your solution in the comment section let me see how many of you can do this i will be giving the links of these questions of geeks for geeks and finally like share and subscribe and i have explained many more interesting questions like this go through them also <laughs> thanks and i'll stay